Hey, what's happening, gamers? It's Amber here with Kiwings Let's Plays. Hope you guys are having a great day today. And today we're going to be doing more Disney Dreamlight Valley. Today we're actually going to be unlocking the the gate, the sunlit gate or whatever it's called. I kind of forgot the name of it, but we'll know when we get there. The sun gate. Hi, Princess Emmy. Hi, Anthony. Hi, William. Hi, Later Gator Juan Bowman. And um, everyone, hope you guys are having a great day. So, all right. Oh my gosh, I'm going to need to put... So, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Um, I've got my uh, Canada Dry here. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. So last time I didn't know what I was doing with this these pieces of this sunlit gate. And basically I was doing it all wrong. I was trying to craft it at a I was trying to craft it at a craft station for um good to see you, Bowman. Hope you're having a great day. And uh I was trying to craft it at a craft station for actually um like um you know like a um a, like a um a special craft station, like a stone one. But you just need to craft it at a regular craft station. So that's what kind of threw me off. Also, I'm wearing stuff that is elegant and... Elegant and some other thing is for the snap. Uh, there's a snap thingy. Like a... Let's see. Oh, dream snaps. So you can wear something that's elegant and wondrous. So it looks like I completed this submission... Oh, you can actually vote on other people's submission. Okay, I guess we can vote on some people. So, basically... Oh, wow. So, if you vote on these submissions, you can kind of choose which one you like better. I kind of like this person because they uh, are closer up, I guess. Um, I kind of like this person's because they have, like, a border around theirs. I don't know. Um... I don't really know. This is kind of... I like this turtle, so I'll vote for that one. Um, elegant and... Uh, I can kind of see that person better. I don't really know. I can't tell if... This person made a whole picture of their town. I guess that's kind of cool. And this person seems... Okay, I don't even really even know how many... Alright, I think I'm done voting. So yeah, you can vote on the things. Um, yeah... I don't know if they can show you the picture I submitted. Oh, that's my picture that I submitted. It's really lame. <laughs> but I put Luke in some elegant clothes, so there you go. It's kind of lame, but I mean, I did it. So that's the Dream Snap Challenge. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so we're going to go on the map, and I'm going to go to Eternity Isle. Sorry, I had a chip. So, all right, first thing we're going to do is get out of this elegant outfit, which it's all right for an outfit, but I'm going to switch clothes. Let's see if we can get in a regular shirt here. Honestly, I seem to wear this shirt every day. We need to get more blue shirts for guys in this game because um, I just feel like, okay, fine, I guess we'll we'll use this one. I just feel like Luke looks better in blue, so... I just have one blue shirt in this game, so I just always seem to wear it, like, have Luke wear it, like, all the time. So, I have been wandering around in this game a ton, and as usual, I got basically nothing accomplished except for just getting enough dream lights so I could make one large uh, storage box, again, which is, like, kind of lame. So, you don't want to build it here. You don't need to build the sun thing here. You build it over here on your regular... On your regular thingy. Um, uh, why can't I build it here? This is very strange. <sighs> okay, here we go. Alright, so we're going to build this sun core. So you only need three parts. I kind of thought I needed um, more, more parts, but... 
So, la yeah, last time we went around looking for parts, and I got, um, I got the Suncor parts. But I didn't know how to put them together. So, basically, I'm an idiot. You just have to go to your regular crafting station so and put them together. So, now we're going to go all the way back up, and we're going to put this in for, um, Rapunzel and unlock this. And I've been also trying to um, unlock the Star Path for a Monsters Inc. Star Path, but man, is that a little bit hard to do. Um, it's just a lot of requirements. Uh, I can show you guys, not that it really matters, but. Uh, so these are my Star Path duties here. Um, work a shift at the restaurant, collect some candy, some sandy seafood. We could probably do that. Dig for something blue. I tried that, but I only got 11 out of 20 and go fish for some bass. I I got like seven fish, and again, I only collected one bass. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's kind of slow going with that. Um, so, with this star path, we did get the jacket for Sully. Um, and I have 40 coins right now, so I could probably get something really cool. Um, I kind of want to see what this swan boat is. That's kind of piqued my curiosity. Like, is that going to sit out on the ocean? Like, what's going on with the boat? So, I'm kind of interested in that. So, we're just going to uh, go right up. We're going to go right up here and we're going to put in the sun core. And hopefully we can actually unlock Rapunzel at this point, which I should have been able to unlock her last time, but I just couldn't understand how I was supposed to do it. Alright, so we're just going to put that sun core right in there. And looks like we've got um, this whole new area for Rapunzel. Well, I guess I'll talk to Rapunzel and see what I'm supposed to do because I don't really know. It's kind of confusing. Oh, this is so beautiful. Look down there. Doesn't that look like a cloak to you? Hmm, or a really big sundial. Yeah, sundial. But what's that on the ground next to it? It looks like another sun core. Hmm, I'm not sure what that place is, but I can feel some powerful magic close by. Let's have a look at that sun core. Oh, it's Alright, so now we talk to her and now we can look at it. Um, it's going all over the place. Alright, we got it. Now we can put it in here, I guess. Alright, whoa! Huh? Did you feel that? This platform moved a little bit, K-Wing. And it made a ticking sound, just like a clock. Hmm, a clock that's missing a few parts. I think we have to repair the sundial mechanism in the center to get to the far island. It looks like someone has pulled out the gears. Huh? That's strange. Uh -huh. I've seen some golden gears floating around in the aisle. Maybe that's what we need to repair the sundial. It's worth a try. I'll search the island for sundial gears. I just love talking to uh, you. Uh, thank you. Search the aisle for floating gears. All right, now we have to find even more gears. Um, good. How are you doing today, Anthony? Great to see you. Hi, Isaiah. Hi, Tim. Hi, Anthony. Um, hi, um, Emmy. Hi, Tim Moore. Hi, Later Gator. Hi, Bowman. Hi, everyone. Later Gator says, catch it. Thanks, Later Gator. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? Oh, no. I hope I don't have to do that again. Oh, thanks for voting for my dream snap, Later Gator. I wish I knew how to vote for other people's dream snap. 
It just showed me regular people, but I can try to figure out how to vote for a year's um, later gator. Thank you. That's very. That's really nice of you. Hi, JS. Good. How are you doing? Hope your day is going great. You don't have to be sorry for not being here. <clears throat> I'm so sorry for your loss, Bowman. I'm sorry your grandmother passed away. I'm so sorry. I'll definitely keep you in my thoughts and prayers, my friend. Thank you for being so encouraging over on my Twitter Bowman and I hope you um I will definitely keep you in my thoughts and prayers. <sighs> okay, so looks like it did not do the second core, so we have to go all the way back. Oh okay, we'll just uh, fast travel back there. Yeah, I'm very sorry. I know it can be very, it's very hard to lose a grandmother. Uh, the fact that, um, the fact that you, that you care, the fact that you are that you care so much um when you know you lose somebody means that you love them a lot and you still love them because you will get to see them in heaven one day so um it's, it's hard because it, it hurts a lot but when <clears throat> when you lose somebody and it makes you hurt a lot um it means that, um, that, you know, they know that you love them a lot and you, and you loved them a lot and you were a good grandson to, to, um, her. And you, if you, if you don't care about somebody, then when they pass away, it won't, you won't feel pain, but if you care about them and they meant a lot to you and you love them, then you'll feel pain, so... Um, it's very difficult, but um, you know, we'll you'll know, we'll all see each other in heaven one day. So yeah, I'll definitely uh, keep you in my thoughts on Paris Bowman. All right, so let's uh, go over to here. Um, You're here. Let's see. The sundial. What should I do? <clears throat> Is that another sun core down there? Let's go take a look. Yeah, I know that um, Luke is still having a hard time after his grandfather passed away. This is very difficult. I, I can't. I can't. Um, I'm sorry that that happened to you, Bowman. Bowman, I'm very sorry. Alright, so I am going to um, save this. Alright, so I saved. Um, now hopefully it will not jam up. Yeah, definitely later Gator says, when I lost my grandma, my mom said... 
think about it as they are going on a vacation, you will see them soon. Yeah, I mean, like, my, mo uh, my mom passed away this last year, and it was very difficult for me. Um, but I had a, a lady, like, a, a random lady came up to me, and... Like, she, I think she was, like, a second cousin or something, and I don't remember ever seeing her before, um, but, uh, she said, um, um, she, t she said, she could notice that I was, uh, very upset, and, um, she said that, um, She said that, um, you know, that it didn't seem like it was going to be okay, but, uh, that it would, that it would be okay. Um, uh, she told me that, um, she said that, um, that, um, things would get easier because... Um, she said that when you, when, um, somebody, um, that you love passes away and they go to heaven that, um, that they can pray for you from heaven and that they can see you and, um, you know, they can pray for you from heaven and, um, they also, um, they also, um, like, know, like, and, like, if they, when you go to heaven, um, you know, like, all the things that you didn't, not, like, uh, um, like, they're aware of things more because, you know, um, you know, God can show them things that they didn't know before about things that, you know, are happening. So, you know, like if your grandma doesn't know that, like, say you're having a rough time in school or something and you didn't, and your grandma didn't really know that you didn't really talk about that. But you know, if, if God shows her that, um, when she goes to heaven, then she can pray for you. Um, and that's what the lady told me when my mom passed away. Uh, when my mom, there's a lot of things I didn't get a chance to tell my mom. But, um, when my mom passed away, um, I felt like a little bit after she passed away, I just felt like within my heart, like in my spirit, like I knew, I knew that she knew, like she, like God told her everything. Like she are, she knows everything now, like all the stuff that I, um, I didn't get to tell her. So, Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely really hard. But yeah, um, the fact that I feel um, inside of me and I know my mom knows, I can tell my mom knows, um, that shows me that, you know, she, there's no way, you know, if she just disappeared and she wasn't in heaven, there's no way she could know and I could feel peace like that. So um, I also had uh, my grandfather, when he passed away, was very, um, don't forget, I'm here to help. Uh, surprising to a lot of people in the room because, uh, my, my grandfather was a, a missionary in China for many years, so, uh, he was very quiet. Um, and when he passed away, um, I wasn't there, but everyone in the room said that. Like, he, um, when he, they were, like, singing, like, hymns and stuff when he was, um, when he was, uh, fading away, and, um, my aunt said, like, when, um, um, basically, all, well, actually, everyone there, my aunt, my uncle, and, um, all of, all of the family that were there said that 
when my grandfather passed away, he looked up from his hospital bed and he told everybody in the room, he said, can you not see the, um, he said, I see the sky um, parting open. He said, I see the clouds parting open and he said, I see angels coming down to, um, they're coming to take me and they're at the sides of my bed, they're, they're coming to take me up. And he was describing everything to everyone in the room that, that he could see the angels coming down. And there was even people there that didn't even believe in God that were just like so confused because my grandfather was describing the entire thing of what was happening. And um, well, he just described himself well. like the clouds parting up in him just going right up into heaven. And he like described the whole thing while it was happening. So, uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, heaven is real and um, there, you know, you're going to see your grandma going to see your grandma again, and you're going to see everybody that has passed away again. Ugh, those nights know. aren't the worst, am I right? They're just up there waiting for you. So, yep. Oh, every time you see your grandma, you're reminded of Ladybug? Yeah. My adoptive grandfather passed away the day before my birthday. Winter's... Oh, wow. Well, oh, wow, well, Geofon. Yep. Never, and never since my... I heard the story of my grandfather passing away and seeing angels taking him up to heaven, I, you know, like, before then, I really just went to church, and I was like, well, maybe this is real, and maybe it's not, I don't really know, um, once that happened, it really changed me a lot, and I, I just remember saying, like, wow, I remember saying, like, to myself, as, like, a, I must have been, like, 13 or something, and I just said to myself, like, Wow, so it is real. Like, so, so it's all real then. Heaven is really real. God is really real. It's really there. I, I couldn't believe it. I kind of thought maybe it was, but I, I, when I heard what happened to my grandfather, I just couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Especially knowing my grandfather, you know, there were so many people that were in my, you know, my, my grandfather was just a regular kind person, um, you know, he was very, um, you know, so I just, um, I was very, um, yeah, so, yeah, that had a huge, like, impact on me, um, so yeah, I will, you know, I've had a no. I've had a couple of things like that that have happened to me since then. That have re, that have shown me that um, that yeah, God is real and heaven is real. There's been a few things more that have happened to me that have shown me beyond a shadow of a doubt that it is real. But yeah, it's yeah. You'll definitely see. You'll definitely us. Uh, yep, yeah, we'll definitely see the our our family again that went up to heaven. Definitely. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, like, it's not a, about. It, it's really. No. Well, it's not really about being a uh, perfect person, but uh, for me, you know, like, I know everyone has their own viewpoint but for me for my faith it's you know uh, it's really about placing my trust in Christ uh, and you know there's some family members that I wasn't sure like what was going on with them but you know we were singing hymns to them when they passed away and 
you know, they were trusted in God, they were trusting in Jesus, and I know they went to heaven, because it's not about uh, being a perfect person, not about being perfect, like, I can't be a perfect human being, no one can be a perfect human being, but if we trust in Jesus, um, then, yeah, we know where, we know where we're going, um, when we, when we pass away, so, yeah, definitely. All right, so I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> All right, so we found six out of ten uh, sundial things. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna be wandering around here trying to find the rest of them. Mm, yeah, I had a, something actually happen to me. Like I was, I mean, I today. Yeah, of course, later Gator. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I was, there was a family member that I wasn't sure because they were sort of mean sometimes, and I wasn't sure if they went to heaven or not. But as they were, they were, we were singing hymns to them when they were going, when they were passing away, and they were clutching the Bible, and people were, they were feeling so happy when we were reading the Bible verses to them and singing hymns to them, and I know they, they didn't, they were, they talked about how they, you know, were trusting in God and they were trusting in Jesus, so it's, you know, I, w I actually got to read Psalm 23 to them before they passed away, and it, you know, it, I know that if they were, if they didn't believe in God, and I was reading the scripture to them, they would be really angry, and they would be reacting bad they would be angry because people react badly to God's word if they're not Christians. They get really angry. Um, they get furious and they get, but if you see somebody who has peace when you're reading the Bible, then you know that, um, you know, there's two things. Uh, you know, if, if, if somebody's peaceful when you read the Bible to them, then either they're on their way towards uh, being saved, or they already are saved. It's one of the two. Um, but yeah, especially at their last hour, then you know it's pretty. You're pretty sure, you know, that they're they're saved. Plus, um, you know, it was it was it was great to hear so many other family members tell me that you know they believed in Jesus and everything because I didn't know. So that, so that was really good. Yeah. Yeah, and I actually, um, today I actually was praying and I actually was very, uh, just, uh, I wrote some stuff on my Twitter, but it's like, my Twitter's kind of private so hardly anyone can see it, but, um, I just, I know, like, God kind of showed me why people are hacking my channel, and it's not because of me, um, it's not because of anything I did to them, I wish it was, I really wish it was, it makes me feel sadder that it's not because of me, I, I really wish it was something I did, but it's not something I did, it, it's because they, um, it's because, uh, they're hacking the channel because they, um, They're hacking the channel because they, they, um, like, like, when they come around the channel and they say stuff like, you and Luke hate me, or you're judging me, or you think you're better than me, or, you know, you're hateful to me and that's why I'm attacking you. They're not, when they're saying that, you know, God showed me today that when they're saying that, and I'm thinking to myself, like, when did I ever attack you? When did I say I hated you? What are you talking about? When they're saying, when they're coming to this channel and hacking it, when they're saying that, they're, what they're trying to say, they're not talking to us. They're not talking, they're saying that to God. They're telling God that he judges them. They're telling God that he, um, that they, that they think, you know, 
that he um, thinks he's better than them. They're they're not yelling at us. I don't know. Something God was showing me today when I was praying was that they're they're yelling at God when they come here to this channel and they're hacking it. They're they're angry at God. That's why they're hacking the channel. And that's why I'm going to be very careful when, like, you know, because I do believe in God. So, like, one of the people that I believe was hacking it when we said, like, we were joking about Happy Atheist Day because it was Atheist Day. And I feel like that was a huge thing that was not, it was somewhat blasphemous for me to say. So I'm going to be very careful what I say because I don't want to, um... I don't want to um, say something that would hurt God because um, God is the only reason that I'm alive and that I have a channel. And um, you know, I'm not I'm not going to um, allow people to come in here and um, you know, like I I give people a reasonable amount of things they can say, but they can't say something um, really offensive to to God or people here. Because um, they're, they're uh, fighting, the people attacking the channel are fighting against God. They hate God. That's why they're attacking the channel. We're, it's, um, that's why they're here. It's not a, it's not a, uh, it's a, it's like a spiritual thing. They're, they're coming here because they're angry at God. So, that's the... That's the reason. That's why like to me. So when they say I'm stuff coming. like, you know, like uh, all the stuff that they're saying, with the, everything they're saying, they're, they, they're saying Luke and I are doing it to them, but what they really mean is God, they, they're, they're acting like God did that to them, but, um, you know, you really have to think about it because, you know, in my... In my many years of, in my many years of being a, uh, a Christian, one thing I found out is that um, one reason why, like, does anyone know why, like, I'm not, you know, like, I, you know, I know not everyone here is a Christian, but I'm just saying it because I'm being attacked for being a Christian, so I'm just going to say it. Like, many people don't know this, but the reason why demons try to get people in general to sin like many people don't know the reason why like why would they want to do that what would be the point of them bothering like you would think that demons would attack you with disease and like kill your kids or kill your cat and like try to put acid rain on you and try to destroy your life but why would they get you to sin what would be the point of that well the reason why demons try to get people to sin is because they they're acting just like these hackers are, where they're angry and they they feel cut off from God. So they try to accuse people and say like like God is they demons are always angry that they want they're angry at God all the time. They they're always accusing God being like you don't you didn't give us enough of a chance. You were unfair to us. You cut us off from the kingdom. You were unfair to us. You judged us wrongly you weren't fair you know you they try to make they've tried to find fault with God and when they can't you know sway God at all because God is obviously not gonna put up with their stuff then they try to find fault they what they're trying to do what that's why demons try to attack people and try to get them to sin is the reason why is because if they can get you to sin then they can point to you and say hey, look over here God you know, Amber sinned. Look at that. She yelled at somebody. Um, so that just proves that she shouldn't be saved. Why does she get to be saved? Why does she have salvation? And I don't. That's the whole point of it. That's the whole point of why demons do that. Is they're trying to prove that God is not just. They're trying. It's like a... And that's what these uh, hackers are doing. They're very angry people because they have lifestyles that are against God. Like, they have some very, you know, they look at a lot of sinful images online that are inappropriate. That's their whole lifestyle. 
and they feel very offended that Luke and I are Christians online. They feel very offended that anyone would have a, a lifestyle, like, they would feel offended that anyone would have a system of beliefs that would say, no, I'm not going to look at that image, or no, I'm not going to do that drug or something. They feel very offended that anyone would actually have a standard for themselves of something because they feel angry that someone would even have a standard for their own life. So that's why they're attacking the channel because they're, they're angry at God because, um, because probably because uh, my personal belief is that, you know, I, it's just my personal belief, but I mean, I mean, these people attacking us are really either very influenced by demons or they are possessed, one of the two. And they just are, um, they're just um, very angry. And the things that they're saying, the kind of things that they're saying when they're attacking our channel are very, same kind of things that demons say when they're angry at God. Um, and that's the kind of things they're saying to us. So it's, it's very... Um, it's a very, like, uh, it's almost as if, like, it's almost like demons themselves are attacking the channel. It's a very spiritual thing, and, um, you know, that's what I was praying today about it, and I just felt God tell me that, it, that when they are saying, you are judging us, you hate us, you are cutting us off, they're literally demons saying to, to God, you, you hate us, you're cutting us off, you're judging us. Because the, the demons, they, um, the fallen angels, they, they, um, you know, they, we as humans, we are born onto the earth and we have to ask God for help for, to have salvation. Those angels, they were born or they weren't born, they were created in heaven. So they were already in heaven. They didn't, they kind of. You know, they had it made. All they needed to do was obey God, and they, and they fell. They decided to join the rebellion and and go against God. And um, like Jesus, he came to Earth so that he could pay the price for mankind for our sins. So anyone who believes in Jesus and puts their trust in Him will be saved. So if you trust in Christ as your Savior. If you trust in Jesus as your only way to heaven, then you you can have salvation. But if you trust in yourself, you you can't make it to heaven because you can't possibly make it there um, without Jesus. You have to place your tr uh, trust in Christ. And you know um, the fallen angels they don't have that opportunity. They they fell. And they don't have um, any ability to be saved. So they're very angry. They're very angry and they try to make people sin constantly. And they also try to make people miserable. First thing that is done when you're spiritually attacked as a Christian is that, is that the, the armies of darkness will try to get you to sin. And then if they can't get you to sin, then generally what will happen is they'll try to make your life difficult um, and then they'll just you know but you don't like my mistake is that you know the last several years I just didn't want to pray for God to use me to help anyone anymore because my life was so difficult so I've been being attacked so much but you know I was praying today and God showed me no, that's not right. You you should always pray that God will use you to help people because that's what you're here on earth for. You don't have to, you know, it's, um, you want to, you want to do what, um, what God needs you to do first and he will take care of your other needs. No, just stay, um, if, if you're, if you, if you stop trying to do the right thing, if you stop trying to help people, if you stop trying to pray, to help people even when things are difficult then you will end up kind of in a rut and kind of stuck and you won't um you won't be able to um you'll you know in a way you kind of become just trying to take care of yourself and try not to have anything else bad happen to you but that's not a good way to live you 
um, because um, to to live the right way, you want to always be trying to ask God, what can I do next, and what, how can I help somebody? So even when things get hard, um, it's important to try to help other people, and um, and God will always take care of you if you um, if you're always seeking after God and and trying to do what's right and trying to ask Him what He wants you to do. He will always take care of you. And you don't need to worry about. You don't need to worry about what other people are worrying about. Many other people worry about other things. Like, um, you know, like, well, how am I going to save for this? Or what am I going to do for my future? Um, if you're a Christian, God holds your future in his hands. So you don't need to worry about that as much as other people do. Because God is going to take care of you. So, the number yeah. of friendly residents in this I'm going to try to find the rest of the... Show the sundial gears to Rapunzel. Okay, so looks like we got all of these gears. Alright, looks like she's over here. Circle. Hi, Julia. Hi, Bowman. Hi, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Great to see you guys. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, and, um, yeah, and I'm, um, yeah, I hope things are going well with your son, Naomi, and, um, yeah, I saw what you said after you, you left that one day, and thank you for the kind words. You're very sweet. Hi, William. Hi, uh, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. You found all the gears we need for the sundial. That's amazing. While you're gone, I think I figured out how it's supposed to work. Huh? Let's see if I'm right. Uh. Phew, the gears fit. Uh. You have to try and use the sundial. <laughs> all right, Bye. so let's try to use this. Gator. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Reach the Statue of Time with Rapunzel. Reach the Statue of Time. And it's already 4.30. So, um, let's see. All right. Well, I don't know where the Statue of Time is. Um, it says, uh, reach the Statue of Time with Rapunzel. I don't know what that is. Reach the Statue of Time. I guess I'll have to figure that out. I have no idea. Thank you, PJ. You're, you're sweet and kind. Thank you so much. Very kind. All right, guys. Well, I think that is pretty good because, um, yeah, definitely, Julia. God is love eternal. Definitely. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys are all having a nice day today. Um, yep. So anyways, uh, I, I think we're going to go and do the next stream since I'm, I kind of ran late on this one and I started late, but thank you guys for the encouragement. I really appreciate it, everyone. Thank you guys for um, all that and I'll definitely be you know keeping you guys in my thoughts and prayers for everything you guys are going through and um, uh, yep and so I'll see you guys in about uh, 15 minutes for the next stream so thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in about 10 15 minutes for Ace Attorney coming right up um, on the next stream for Kevin's Let's Plays thanks everyone for watching guys and gals and uh, we'll do Rapunzel next time for this God bless happy gaming see ya